Late in the day, Lauren Hensley, our 12 News investigator, looked into some of the issues uh, from the past at TPC and discovered that uh, tens of thousands of dollars uh, had been levied against TPC on what were referred to as preventable violations. Let's take a look at that piece now. The EPA calls these a high priority environmental violations that could have been avoided with better maintenance, according to both state and federal records. The documents say the facility was non-compliant with the Federal Clean Air Act every quarter since January 2017. Records show the most violations involve what they call the preventable emissions of butadiene. That's the chemical company officials say is burning at the plant. 12 News pressed a spokesperson at a news conference earlier today, but Troy Monk with TPC said he had no knowledge of these violations and referred us to another spokesperson. We spoke with a man who didn't want to be named, but says he worked at this plant for a number of years. That's one of the reasons why I left, because it was just, I didn't feel very comfortable or safe working there. It was just, in my opinion, it was just a matter of time. TCEQ Executive Director Toby Baker issued a statement saying in part within the last year, I have witnessed an unacceptable trend of significant incidences impacting the Gulf Coast region. While not all emergency events may be prevented, it is imperative that the industry be accountable.